Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities, old mother nature's recipes that bring the bare necessities of life. Everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review The Jungle Book. So, The Jungle Book is a remake of the 1967 animated Disney classic The Jungle Book. The film stars Neil Sethi, Bill Murray, Ben Kingsley, Idris Elba, Lupita Nyongo, Scarlett Johansson, and Christopher Walken. And The Jungle Book is about this evil tiger named Shere Khan who is threatening the wolf pack and all the other animals unless Mowgli leaves. So thanks to Shere Khan, Mowgli is forced to leave the pack and he has to basically go on his own, being guided by this black panther named Bakira, and along the way meets this bear named Baloo. So when I went into the Jungle Book, I was hyped out of my mind for this film. I really couldn't wait for this movie. It was definitely one of my most anticipated movies for the year. The Jungle Book looked like it was just gonna be something special. And I was even more excited that Jon Favreau is handling this film because I really enjoyed Jon Favreau's work. I think he's a great director. Jon Favreau didn't disappoint because The Jungle Book, my goodness, it left a big old smile on my face. The cinematography looks absolutely breathtaking. You look at all the shots with Mowgli and Bakira and Baloo and all of the other species you see in this film. Every frame, every shot, it looks incredible. This movie is filmed entirely in green screen or blue screen because really Mowgli is the only live action character in this film. Everyone else is completely CGI. The animals are CGI, the background is CGI, everything looks CGI and it is absolutely glorious. And I give huge credit to whoever was in charge of the visual effects, but also I give huge credit to John Favreau because it's thanks to how visually beautiful this movie looks that John Favreau truly brought the Jungle Book to life. The live action form is brought to life thanks to this glorious CGI filled world. This is definitely some of the best use of CGI I've honestly ever seen in a movie. I can never take my eyes off of this movie. It's just so breathtaking. When you see the details on Blue, he looks like an actual bear and the way he talks looks really great and that could be said the same for all the other animals like with Bakira, Shere Khan, you know the list goes on. It's just such a breath of fresh air and I know it took a lot of hard work, so I have to applaud John Favreau, the people in charge of visual effects, basically just everyone involved in this project. It blew me away, honestly, visually. It is just incredible. Visuals really help you escape to a whole new world, and it really does bring that cinematic Feel. It gives you that great cinematic experience. And what I also really appreciate about this film is how much care it has for the source material. This movie adds a little more to the story that we're known for. It does make little changes here and there, but really it is the story we all know and love. And I give huge credit to the writers of this film because the writing for this film is honestly really well done. Now, Neil Sethi. This is his first ever film to ever work in. And I gotta say, he was the perfect choice to play Mowgli. He did a great job. And not only did he do a great job portraying Mowgli, he looks exactly like, exactly like Mowgli from the 1967 animated film The Jungle Book. And I know it was tough on his part because with him being really the only live action character in this film, he has to act like he's actually in the jungle. Now in terms of voice performances, Bill Murray 
hands down, perfect choice for Baloo. He added so much personality to the character. He brought the Baloo that I know and love from the animated Jungle Book film. Bill Murray, you could tell that through his voice that he was having fun. I actually heard that he actually improvised some, if not most of his lines for the film. And if that's the case, then wow, did he do a great job with this movie. And the visual on the bear Baloo, awesome job. And he definitely added a lot of humor as Baloo is. He's lovable, he's funny. And Bill Murray carries that so well in this film. I loved Baloo. He was such a delight. And he's definitely my favorite character in this film. Just like he's my favorite character in the animated Jungle Book film. He's always been a favorite character of mine. Thanks to Bill Murray, he truly brought Baloo to life. Ben Kingsley as Bagheera was a great choice for the character. And I really liked how the movie carried over the personality from the animated film where Bagheera is always worried for Mowgli. Even though it's his regular voice, you don't really see a Ben Kingsley on the screen. You actually see the character of Bagheera. Idris Elba is killing it with these Disney animated films this year. He was great as that chief in Zootopia, and he was great as Shere Khan in The Jungle Book. Shere Khan is a menacing villain. You don't want to mess with this guy. When he says he'll do something, he really means it. He was able to bring that intimidation into that character. Lupita Nyong'o does a great job voicing Raksha the Wolf. Raksha, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. She was really great here. I thought she did a brilliant job voicing the character. Scarlett Johansson, she's really good as Ka. And I will admit, it's kind of weird to hear Ka have that female voice because he's known for having the male voice and the animated film. That was one of the things that made me go, is this going to be distracting? It actually wasn't. I actually thought Scarlett Johansson's voice worked for Ka, and I thought for what she had, she did a very nice job with the character. King Louie, voiced by the one and only Christopher Walken. I thought he did a really good job voicing King Louie. Uh, and King Louie, visually, he looked great, just like with all the other animals in this movie. The voice really flows well with the character, and he does sing that song, I Want to Be Like You. I thought Christopher Walken, as King Louie actually did a very good job singing I Want to Be Like You. It was a very fun scene. It had me dancing around and it just made me so happy. I do, however, have some problems with this movie. And one of the problems I had with The Jungle Book is that I did feel like how the storyline was set up in the beginning. It did feel a little bit rushed in my opinion. I still really like the beginning, but I do feel like how it was setting up its story just to get the overall plot started. It did feel kind of rushed and it did feel a little bit forced as well. If you guys notice, I didn't even mention Bare Necessities in my pros and that's because unfortunately Bare Necessities didn't sound as great as I had hoped it would. Now Baloo, voiced by of course Bill Murray, he did a decent job singing the musical number. I wouldn't say it's good or great but it was okay. It was decent. The problem is that even though the singing was decent from Bill Murray as Baloo, the singing with the music playing in the background didn't flow very well but then once Baloo and Mowgli were singing Bare Necessities together then that's when the musical number felt completely out of place and just did not flow well at all in my opinion. Bare Necessities actually sounds amazing when it's by itself like when you don't have the singing take out the singing it actually sounds great by itself Ka and King Louie were underused in this film I still enjoyed seeing them but I wish that we got to see just a little bit more of them especially Ka at least with King Louie I would say I got enough of him but with Ka I wish we could have seen a little bit more of her also surprisingly there actually wasn't enough screen time between Mowgli and Baloo because one of the things I love about the Jungle Book is the friendship with Baloo and Mowgli. They have a great friendship and for what was shown here in this live action telling, their friendship continues to be highly entertaining to watch and just a lot of fun to watch. But 
there really wasn't enough of the scenes between Baloo and Moogly together. Most of the scenes, Baloo was really interacting with Akira, and I really liked the interaction between those two, by the way. It was actually very entertaining to watch because, you know, they have different point of views. But Moogly and Baloo, I wish I could have seen more of the two of them on screen because when we got to see their friendship for a little bit in the film, it was nice to see, and then when the film stopped focusing on the two of them having their bond, you know, it was just kind of like, I just wanted more. There are a few moments in the film that feel forced in my opinion, and then that's where I do leave with my last problem with The Jungle Book, and that is that even though I really enjoyed the climax, it's a very well done climax, but I did feel like it was pretty rushed and it didn't really leave as much of an emotional impact as I think the climax was trying to leave. It was trying to be very epic and honestly leave emotion to it, but I really didn't get much of an emotional impact from the climax. And not only that, but how the movie executes the climax did feel honestly very predictable. Overall, you guys, The Jungle Book is a movie that left a big old smile on my face. And you're just transported into a whole new world. Great visuals just on how the jungle looks, on the background, on the animals. It looks beautiful. John Favreau does a great job directing this film. The movie respects its source material. It adds a little more to the story. It does a few little changes, but really overall sticks to the source material. And I thought that's what made this movie just so fun and so exciting. And that's why I'm going to give The Jungle Book three out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about The Jungle Book. I have been in two award shows, and those award shows are the Next Gen Film Awards hosted by Austin Putnam and Mothman Jones, and the other one is the Film Fanatic Awards 2 hosted by Caleb. I was very honored to present at the Next Gen Film Awards. It is split into two parts, and I do present in part two of the award show, which is on Austin's channel so if you guys haven't seen the next gen film awards i will leave a link to part one which is on mothman jones channel and part two which is on austin putnam's channel i highly recommend it you guys a lot of great presenters there and the same thing goes to the film fanatics awards hosted by caleb i got to be a presenter there as well it is an hour-long award show there's a lot of awesome presenters on there. Both award shows are honestly great, you guys, so I'm gonna leave a link to both of them in the description below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!